Okay, this is uh, Professor Gilman, and this is our final video on simulations, okay? So in this video series, we were asking the question, how do we set up simulations? <coughs> Excuse me. And that is a really good question. <coughs> so this final example is about reaching a criteria and not a fixed amount. So that's how this one changes from the others. So this changes the simulation a little, but not very much, as you will see. So let's go ahead and get started. And in keeping with the Arrow theme in Season 1 of Arrow, Oliver Queen is trying to rid Starling City of the drug Vertigo. Um, the Count is spreading it all around. And he and John Diggle are searching all of the Count's known hideouts in hopes of destroying at least 80% of the Vertigo and stopping the spread of the addiction and the death that is going on in the city. And so using shipping data and an algorithm, Felicity Smoke has determined the following drug distributions for each location. So 10% of locations will have about 40% of the drug stockpile. 10% of locations will have 20% of the drug stockpile. 20% of locations will have 10% of the drug stockpile. And at 60% of locations will have 5% of the drug stockpile. Okay, so these are the locations. This adds up to 100 per, oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. This adds up to 100%. And then this is the amount of drug that they are expected to find there. Okay. So on average, how many hideouts will they have to search to destroy at least 80% of the drug? If it's more than eight, they should actually risk splitting up in order to destroy it. But the, the count has it moved to a new location. All right. So this is the setup. And so in the Bakhtavo Velman book that we've been using, the Stats Modeling Our World, um, they have the seven steps. And again, I think they're great, so I'm going to use those to destructure my simulation. And I do this every time. You should do it every time. Okay? So what is the event to be repeated? So that's searching a hideout. Okay? And now develop how you're going to determine the event's outcome. Well, since all the location probabilities have zeros at the end, it actually makes sense to use one digit for determining the drug stockpile. So if a zero shows up, that represents that 40% of the stockpile is there. And there's only a couple of those locations. A uh, one represents 20% of the stockpile, right? Two and three is going to represent 10% of the stockpile. And four through five would represent 5% of the stockpile. Okay? And why do we do that? It, this is because, remember, um, if you have one digit out of 10, that would be equal to 10%, right? Down here, if you have two digits out of 10, that's going to be equal to 20%, all right? And so that fits with what Felicity found up here, all right? So now, what makes a trial? This is the one big change, okay? This is by criteria, and we're looking for at least 80% of the drug. So a trial actually ends when we reach over 80% of the drug. So we don't know how many places we're going to have to search. That's what we're trying to figure out. So what are we measuring? How many locations we have to search on average. Uh, oh, how many locations we have to search to destroy 80, more, more than 80% of the of the drug. You guys must laugh when you watch me type. Okay, so five, um, run as many trials as needed. Don't be lazy. Um, for this particular problem, we're going to use a random string uh, and stack crunch. You could use Excel. Um, you'll see that it's very easy to make that switch. However, uh, for the random string, we're actually just going to use 10 trials. And then I may extend the number of trials that we're using, but um, maybe not. So it turns out uh, that my stack crunch is here. And what I'm going to do is I have copied, and what I'm going to do is paste. Oops, uh, let me undo that. I'm going to paste in here. So here are all the digits from the random string. And so uh, this string goes all the way down to 100, all right, for the 10 trials. These all want to be in drug at, oh, maybe this, we'll call this location. And then this would be the amount of drug. 
And then after amount of drug, this is going to be the total destroyed. Because we actually have to keep track of both. And this is actually why everything is in a column. This is why everything is in a column. I don't actually know how many trials it's going to take to get my total destroyed to be over 80%. So I can't um, do columns like I did before. Everything has to be in one column. So now as I look, 5, right, a 5 represents 5% 5 of the stockpile. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put 5% in, and that means that the total destroyed is 5%. Now, a zero actually represents 40% of the stockpile. So here, the amount of drug that I found was 40. And 40 plus 5 is 45 is the total amount destroyed. Okay? And so we're going to do this until the total destroyed reaches 80. All right? And so now 8 is 5%. So there's 5%. If I add that to 45, I get 50. And then zero again is going to be another 40%. So 40, that's going to be 90% of the drug destroyed. And so the number of locations that it took was four. It actually took number of locations was four. And now I'm going to start over. Okay, here I'm going to start again. And uh, figure out what I need to do, right? So three, let me look at what three is. Three is a 10%. So here's 10%, and that means I've destroyed 10% because I started over. One is 20%, so this is going to be 20%. 20 and 10 is going to give you 30%. If you were doing Excel, you would just make a formula, and that would make life a little easier. A 3 is, a three is 10%. Right? And so if I add that, I'm going to have 40. A 9 is 5%. That's going to make me 45. A 4 is 5%. That's going to put me at 50. A 5 is 5%. That's going to put me at 55. 7 is 5%. That's going to put me at 60. Um, 5 is 5%. That's going to put me at 65. 0 is 40%, and that would put me at 105. And so here, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 locations that I had to search before I went over. All right? And so now I'm going to start again. So this is my third trial starting here at number 3. So that's going to be 10%, and so that's 10% destroyed. A 7 is 5%, so that's going to be 15 altogether. Uh, zero is 40%, and that's going to put me at 55%. A four is 5%, that'll put me at 60%. Six is 5%, that'll put me at 65%. Two is 10%, so there's 10%, that's going to put me at 75%. Eight is 5%, that's going to put me at 80%. But remember, I need more than 80, so I actually have to search one more location at 5 to get to my 85%, right? And so now I've searched 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 locations, okay? So I'm going to do this all the way down, all right? And so I'm going to go a little bit faster, probably talk a little bit less as you get the hang of it. So 5 is 5, um, 5 is 10, um, 5 is 15, 5 is 20, 5 is 25, 5 is 30, 5 is 30, oh, 35, um, 0 is 40, that's going to make me 75, so here's 5, it's going to get me to 80, and again, I need to be over, so 85, right? And so here I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 locations that I had to search to get over 80. All right, so 8 is 5, um, 9 is 5 and 10, uh, 3 is 10, 10, <laughs> that's going to get me to 20, <clears throat> 5, 
25, 5, 30. Um, 3 is 10 again. That's going to get me to 40. 0 is 40. That's going to get me to 80. But I need to get over 80. So there's my 5. That gives me to 85. And so now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 more. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm about half done, right? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 trials. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and finish this up, and then we're going to join the video. Okay, so I just finished. Um, I have a few more left, but if you'll notice, I've got one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I should have one more. 10. So I've got 10 of them here. Um, so that was the 10 trials we needed. Um, and so I'm going to go to stat and I'm going to go to summary stat and the column. And for the number of locations, I'd like to look at the mean, um, but I also want to do the median just in case I have some skewness or outliers or something. And when I click compute, I see that the mean is 8.3 and the median is 8. So that would be the average number of locations that I should search to get the total that I need. And so um, to summarize our results, we should find that the mean and the median searched is um, 8 to 8.3 locations. And so what can we conclude? Well, if we look, um, if it's more than 8, they should risk splitting up in order to destroy it before the account has moved it. Um, basically, it's it's about 8, 8.3. And so what can we can conclude? Um, that they should um, split up <clears throat> and take different locations. All right. Oh, different. I misspelled it. Sorry. Um, and that's because um, of the 8.3 average locations, right? And so that's what they should do, okay? And so hopefully you followed this um, and that makes us happy. Um, this is gonna conclude the video series. Uh, and so now you've seen it a couple of different ways by criteria and stuff like that. And so um, I think one of the last things that I wanna say about this is you'll notice like if I make a histogram of this of the location just a real quick one what you'll notice is that most of the values are between 9 and 10 right and it, look how symmetric it is and this is what we're gonna see okay most of the locations are gonna be um, between um, 8 and 10 with fewer between 6 and 8 and 10 and 12 and very few between 4 and 6 and 12 and 14 um, but look at how nice and symmetric that is. And that's what you're going to get. If we do enough trials, um, there's a pattern that emerges even from the randomness. And that makes us happy. And that's really the point of uh, this video series.